Have you ever had one of those days where your brain just said, you know what? I want to do something incredibly stupid. And then you went, let's do it. Hello and welcome to Out of the Question, the family-friendly video series where I ask you, the viewers, questions, and you, the viewers, can ask me questions too. And we all comment them and have a jolly good laugh. This week's question is, what is the dumbest thing you have ever done? Or things, because if you're like me, it's a lot. <laughs> if you're having trouble thinking of something that could be your answer, I will give you some. So my mind doesn't always think through everything that's going to happen next according to the action I want to take. I it used to be in an improv class in my theater group. <laughs> the person I was with was standing on a chair and I don't know what came over me, but I thought, you know what would be funny is if I did that like tablecloth pull away thing with this chair and then he just like landed on the floor on his feet. But you know, he's a human being. He has like a hundred pounds on that chair and gravity is holding him onto that chair friction is holding his feet onto that chair and so without my brain thinking hey maybe this is dangerous I just I grabbed the chair and I pulled it away he like half fell and everyone just kind of like stopped and stared at me and was like what did you just do and it was super awkward and I felt really bad for doing it so this is an odd one and I, it's not really something that I like mean to do but it's still something <laughs> I do more than I would like to admit, but I'm admitting it now, so I guess I would like to admit it. You know, whenever you're like trying to like eat something or drink something, but you also want to breathe at the same time, and so you're just like, <laughs> and you end up spitting it out or onto somebody, because then it like stings your throat afterwards, and it's not fun or pleasant, you know? Does anybody else understand that? Yeah? No? Maybe? Huh? Just me? Oh, and uh, this, this is one that we should all be able to relate to. Telling ourselves, I only need 10 minutes to get ready to leave. If that isn't a big fat line, we already know it. But it's a dumb thing that I do all the time. I'm glad that my college teachers are very forgiving on when I arrive. Mom, don't worry. I am arriving on time for all of my classes this semester. We're good. But it doesn't have to be for college. It's just like arriving for soccer practice, arriving to a friend's birthday party, arriving to a funeral. We just go, yeah, I'm gonna make it. And then, uh, no, you don't. You ever have those moments where you have something in your hand or by your foot and then you, you, you see your friend, you see your friend, they're like right over there and they're standing like by a wall or something that would make a lot of noise. And you're like, ooh. This is good. I'm going to throw this over there by their head. It's gonna hit the wall. It's gonna scare them. I'm gonna do it. Ready? Ready? Poo. And then you realize you're not a good aim. Bop! Panic sets in. You're like, and you immediately start going over and apologizing. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, just ah! And then you have to explain to your friend why you decided to throw that rock at their head and why they are waking up in a hospital bed. It's always awkward. I'll tell you what was a lapse in judgment. Getting this little turd right here, all right? Because you know what? He's not appreciative of me at all. Like, at all. He would be a horrible boyfriend or girlfriend. And then, look, okay, look, look he's leaving. Okay, yeah, see, like, he not, doesn't appreciate it at all. Whenever I first met him, he was a kitten. He came over, he sat in my lap, he went to sleep, all this adorable stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, gotta get him now, so pretty. And turns out that he was just hungry and lethargic from all the fleas that were on him and we cleaned him up finally and now he's a jerk and doesn't love us at all. Nah, not one bit. You hear that? You're mean. No one loves you. You don't love us back. That's how love works. And I'm sure this one has happened to everybody. Whenever you're just looking around and around and around and you are like trying to find that one thing, that one thing and you just can't find it and you like need to leave like right now, but you just can't find your car key and you're like, oh my gosh, where is it? And then you finally look in your hand and like it's sitting in your hand the entire time. And then you just like, I, I am an idiot. And you know your brain is inside of you going like, <laughs> look at that. To him. I just I didn't send any signal to his nerves. <laughs> oh the loser. But you can't do anything to your brain because you kind of need it to operate and uh one day I'll get revenge on it. One day. 
and the most basic of all these moments can really be summed up in the moment whenever you go, all right, hold my cup, I got this. Because those are the moments that your mind doesn't want to operate and you make a fool of yourself and we laugh at your expense and it's hilarious. Those are a few of the dumb things I have done before. What are some of the dumb things that you have done before, if you thought of your answer by now? Leave them in the comments below or send them to ootqcontact at gmail.com because I love hearing other people's answers just like the people who commented in last week's episode, which we're going to talk about their answers now. So in last week's episode, I asked, what is your favorite video game? And it was suggested by Sparkle Sprinkles. So Sparkle Sprinkles, we will go over your answer to it. Sparkle Sprinkles says, my favorite video game is Minecraft. To which I responded, Minecraft? I thought it was Mario Kart! Because from her siblings, I have been told that she is somehow like majestically rainbowish good at Mario Kart. So I figured that would have been her favorite, but Minecraft, okay, cool, Let's go with it. Minecraft. Christian Lashover says, It's difficult to come up with my favorite video game, but some of my favorites are the 3D Mario games, especially Sunshine, Super Mario Sunshine Forever, the Smash Brothers series, and the Splatoon series. I really enjoy all the different Mario sub-series. I'm rather fond of Mario as well. Nintendo. Keep Nintendoing, I guess. Blaz or Stevo says, Favorite game of all time. That is a tough question because I'm so indecisive. Like there have been games that I'm addicted to for months or even years and then one day I'm like, I don't like it. My favorite game though, and I still get excited at the thought of it, is Viva Pinata. <laughs> Viva Piñata? That like garden making game? And I remember playing all of those beautiful games you mentioned together. I remember all those games too! Cameron Restivo says, Favorite video game of all time would have to be Monster Hunter. Specifically, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. That is where our addiction to the series began. <laughs> Breh. All the Pixel Junk games are so much fun. Oh, did I mention Pixel Junk in the last week's episode? Like the Pixel Junk Monster series and the Pixel Junk Shooter series and then Pixel Junk Eden like, <gasps> Pixel Junk is so much fun! <laughs> Remember playing those all summer with the bros? But favorite of all time, Monster Hunter, and waiting for the day we get to play it together again. God, <sighs> you're making me cry with us wanting to play games together again. Thank you everybody who commented in last week's episode. Love hearing what you guys have to say. Have you all had enough time to think about your answers for this week's episode? Hope so. If you have, Leave your answer down in the comments below, or you can send it to ootqcontact at gmail.com. And who knows, your answer or question might be featured in next week's episode. You'll just have to find out next week with me, because I don't know what I'm doing next week until next week comes. I kind of do all of this in a single day. It's kind of hard, actually. <laughs>